so I've just parked up there for Findlater Castle. It's a single track road coming up to it with very few passing places. And then I believe about half a mile walk to the castle. Oh, the fields look gorgeous, don't they? It's not been a good morning this morning. Grief gave me a real kick in when I woke up. Out of the blue. Like it does. So I thought, nice little walk outdoors will do me good. There's the castle remains. How the heck did they build that? Findlater Castle, a castle so fortified by the nature of its situation as to seem impregnable. Dates from the 15th century, possibly incorporating elements of a late 14th century structure. In the mid 16th century, possession of the lands of Findlater passed from the Ogilvy family to the Gordons, resulting in a bitter feud between the families. Alexander Ogilvy disinherited his son James in favour of Sir John Gordon, third son of the Earl of Huntley and a suitor for the hand of Mary, Queen of Scots. These were very unsettled times and in 1562, with powerful lords vying for control of Scotland's destiny, the Gordons rebelled. During this time, Findlater was held against the forces of Mary, Queen of Scots. The rebellion was short-lived. On the 28th of October, 1562, the Gordons were overwhelmingly defeated by the Queen at the Battle of Carree Carici. The Earl of Huntley died on the battlefield and Sir John Gordon was captured. On the 31st of October 1562 in Aberdeen Sir John Gordon was beheaded in the presence of the Queen and her half-brother the Earl of Moray. Following these dramatic events Finlater Castle was repossessed by the Ogilvies but abandoned in the mid-1600s in favour of a new residence, Cullen House at Cullen. Wow, quite a history. Well, it's certainly uh, the right day to visit here. The sun's out. The sea is so blue. And there's not another soul around. I haven't seen anyone. There was nobody in the car park. I would imagine this place gets quite busy in the holidays and weekends. You can walk down to it. There's a path along there that walks down and you can go actually into the castle, I believe, what's left of it. But apparently it can be quite treacherous. And I don't do heights, so you're gonna have to just enjoy this. <laughs> or come and visit. It's very peaceful. I could sit here all day. In fact, I might. This 
strange, isn't it, when you when you think of all the feuds attached to this castle and then just look at it now in the stillness and the peace. bales as far as the eye can see. Letter Ducat, 16th century beehive Ducat containing some 700 nesting boxes associated with the nearby 16th or 15th, I can't read it, 15th century or Findlater Castle. a bit whiffy. And now back to Vanya, just as another car's pulled up, so I've had the whole place to myself. Tiny little harbour, tiny little, and a small car park, but I just managed to get Vanya on. There she is. So I thought I'll stick the kettle on and just 
watch the sea. This is certainly picking me up, so to Bry. Cheers, Bry. I'm all set up on my final site at Banrocky. Two nights here. Set up, got the bike out already because it's got a cycle track nearby which suits me.